how should you bet Super Bowl 58? Don't worry, I got you covered. In this video, my best bet for the spread, the total, the MVP, and even a prop for the 49ers and the Chiefs. These are my best bets for Super Bowl 58, the best way to bet Super Bowl 58. And along the way, hopefully, we have some fun. Don't forget to Gronk Spike. Maybe you're a Swifty. Kelsey Spike, the like button. Maybe you're a Niner fan. Bang, bang. George Kittle, Spike, the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more NFL betting content just like this. This is the finale of BLV Best Bets for the 2023-2024 NFL season. Thank you so much for riding with me. Let's finish strong Super Bowl Sunday time. Get in the comment section. Let me know your favorite bet for Super Sunday, Chiefs and Niners. Let me know who you think's going to win. Let me know who you think's taking the MVP. Let me know any exotic bets that you have on your card. And also, if you're wondering where my bets are located and where you can find all of my Super Bowl bets, that's on Patreon. Link in the description. $3 for the month and for every month to support the channel, to support me, and to check out what I'm betting on Super Sunday. Let's kick off our best bets with a couple props, one for each team. The Super Bowl is more than just the spread. It's more than just the total. People want to bet this game every different way possible, and there's so many different props to choose from. These are some of my favorites. First, let's begin with the Kansas City Chiefs. I like Patrick Mahomes and taking a look at Mahomes when it comes to running the football against the San Francisco defense. I will take Patrick Mahomes over his rushing attempts at four and a half. Patrick Mahomes will have to run to extend drives, to extend plays, and to keep the Chiefs in this game, or if the Chiefs are going to win, there's the potential for kneel downs at the end, which could also make for a couple of rushing attempts in this game. So at four and a half, let's say the Chiefs win the game, if that's what you think will happen. Personally, we'll see what I think. But Patrick Mahomes, if the Chiefs win, let's say he takes two kneel downs. Well, then he needs three more rushing attempts throughout the course of the game, to win the game. If they're going to win the game, he's probably going to have to make some plays, specifically on third down against this pass rush that's going to be screaming at him, extending plays, getting outside the pocket, and moving for the first down. As well as, Kansas City has some weaknesses on the offensive line. They have a weakness at left guard. Joe Tooney is out of this game. Nick Allegretti, the backup guard, is replacing the All-Pro. Mismatch for the 49ers. Javon Hargrave, Eric Armstead on the inside, rushing the quarterback. At the tackle positions, Jawan Taylor and Donovan Smith are the weaker aspects of this offense. And they're taking on Chase Young and Nick Boza. Especially when it comes to Nick Boza, he's going to be rushing hard in the face of Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes might have the ability to move out of the way of those sacks and then run because the edge is obviously the non-blindsided edge. So Mahomes is a right-handed quarterback. He'll be looking at Nick Boza as he's rushing him. Nick Boza will be coming right at him. So Mahomes will have that avenue to scramble to the right. So I could see him scrambling to the right, especially more than twice in this game and picking up some yards to help his offense. I also just believe that the coverage in San Francisco is a tad underrated. I think they'll be able to stifle these receivers throughout the game, and I feel like Mahomes will have to create some yards when the coverage is holding up in the back end because these receivers for the Chiefs are not exactly dynamic outside of Travis Kelsey and Rasheed Rice. So Mahomes should have a multitude of ways to run in this game, especially considering it's the Super Bowl. He's going to put everything on the line to win this game and get another ring. 
So I really like Mahomes to go over his four and a half rushing attempts prop. There is a secondary prop that I actually also really like for the Kansas City Chiefs, and that is Harrison Butker making over one and a half field goals. So that's one and a half field goals made over for Harrison Butker of the Kansas City Chiefs. Why do I like this prop? I believe that Kansas City, from an offensive standpoint, is going to matriculate the ball down the field if they're going to move the ball in this game. I think there's going to be long drives, time of possession, and there's going to be running the football and short passing. That's how the Chiefs move the ball. San Francisco might actually play into that with the way that they play zone coverage and the way that they can give up the run. In that case, I do believe that the 49ers have been really good in the red zone. Look back to that Packers game in the playoffs. Kansas City has struggled a bit in the red zone all year. And the Niners, especially early in games, tend to give up early points. And I could see the Chiefs scoring a field goal within the first half at some point. Andy Reid is always known for taking his points early, and he's a pretty conservative coach being one of the older coaches in the NFL, a guy that's willing to play a defensive game, understanding that he has one of the better defenses in football, and Harrison Bucker is a really reliable field goal kicker. I don't expect him to miss at any point in this game, especially in an indoor stadium. It's perfect elements. There's no wind. There's nothing. So there's a lot of different factors here. Niners got a strong red zone defense. Chiefs have long, meticulous drives that could stall out in the red zone. And then Butker is super reliable. On top of the fact that situationally, if this game is close, we could be talking about Chiefs kicking a field goal before halftime in a two-minute situation where they stall out and they set up and settle for a field goal. We could be talking about the end of the game situation where the Chiefs are tying the game with a field goal or winning the game with a field goal. So there's a lot of different ways for Bucker to go over one and a half in this game. I expect one early, maybe one before half or one a bit later in this game. But either way, Bucker over one and a half feels like a great play to me. On the San Francisco side of things for the prop, I'm going to go a little bit bolder and I'm going to take Christian McCaffrey to score multiple touchdowns in this game. That's listed at about three times your money. Christian McCaffrey, everyone wants to bet him to score a touchdown. And it's a very fun bet. But the more fun bet, the funner bet, is Christian McCaffrey to score not once, but twice. And the odds are also much better for these bets. I also look at Christian McCaffrey, and he scored two touchdowns against Detroit, and Green Bay in the two previous playoff games. We've seen Kyle Shanahan really trust McCaffrey in the red zone, and we do see the biggest mismatch in this game being the Niners' ability to run the ball against the Chiefs' run defense. So expecting that to be the case also in the red zone, I think Kyle Shanahan at one point is going to hand the ball off to McCaffrey inside the five-yard line, and then who knows, McCaffrey might be able to spring one for maybe a 10 plus yard touchdown. But at the same time, he's a weapon in the receiving game. He's a weapon in the running game. They're going to find different ways to get him the ball. He's going to see the most touches in this entire game by a long shot as a receiver, as a runner. And I'd expect multiple times the Niners will be within the 10 yard line in this game and will be asking McCaffrey to cash in just as they have against Detroit and Green Bay. This feels like a really good bet because it correlates with my potential Super Bowl MVP, which is what I want to talk about next. My Super Bowl MVP bet, my favorite bet for Super Bowl MVP. It's not Brock Purdy. It's not Patrick Mahomes. It's Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey can be had at about five times your money, depending on where you're betting. But McCaffrey, to me, is a phenomenal bet if you believe the Niners will win this game. And personally, I do think the Niners will win. More on that in a second. But I like McCaffrey because I think the biggest edge in this game for the Niners and the way that they must win and attack the Chiefs is by running the football. They have all the edges in the world. The Chiefs were the 28th run defense according to EPA this season. The Niners 
were number one running the football. The Niners are the best zone running team in football. The Chiefs were one of the worst teams defending the zone run. It doesn't matter what personnel package the Niners come out in or the Chiefs come out in, whether it be base or nickel, the Chiefs have struggled to defend the run. We've seen teams have the most success, Green Bay, the Raiders, the Bills, teams that have beat the Chiefs have run the football. Any time that the Chiefs have surrendered about 110 yards rushing, they have become basically a 500 team this season. And McCaffrey, anytime he's received 16 plus carries this year, has actually won the game for the 49ers. They have not lost a single game when he has achieved that. And every time the Niners have had McCaffrey go over 100 yards, they've only lost once, and that was to the Ravens. So basically, if McCaffrey plays well and they run the ball well, the Niners typically win. And this is the biggest exploitation to be had for Kyle Shanahan's offense. They're not going to want to rely on the young quarterback, Brock Purdy, against an elite, elite cornerback group and pass defense and the blitz packages of Spags. They're going to want to run the ball, especially on early downs, to keep Purdy out of those situations. And I think they're going to trust their best player to get them this Super Bowl ring. And I think that will be why he will be the Super Bowl MVP if the Niners go on to win. My long shot Super Bowl MVP pick would not be, of course, a defensive player. I don't really think that's very likely. If you're going to look at one, you know, maybe it would be like the linebackers on the Niners just in case they get like a pick six. I'm not going to bet that though. I'm going to look instead a little bit shorter odds at Debo Samuel. If Christian McCaffrey is not the reason the Niners win, then Debo Samuel is that guy. Speaking to the Chiefs, I think really the only MVP candidate is Patrick Mahomes. I could maybe see a small chance for Travis Kelsey given the Taylor Swift storyline, but honestly, I think it's Mahomes or bust for the Chiefs, so that's just the way I see it. But with the Niners, I could buy McCaffrey. I could buy Debo. The reason I could buy Debo over McCaffrey is the fact that very much like McCaffrey, he has an impact as a rusher and a receiver, and he'll impact the game in shocking ways. Debo is a playmaker where he catches the football or carries the football, and he just makes unbelievable plays that nobody else can make in football. He breaks tackles. He makes people miss. He goes and takes five-yard catches into 70-yard touchdowns. And that's why Debo can be an MVP in any game that he plays for the San Francisco 49ers. Because just like that Eagles game we saw in a big spot this season, he could just take over a game with a couple touches in a single game by breaking multiple tackles and making kind of like plays that don't really feel like they're anything special into first downs, touchdowns, and game-changing moments in a Super Bowl, which is what everybody's about, those moments in a Super Bowl. So very much like McCaffrey, this guy can be the energizer to why the Niners win as a receiver or a rusher. So it's worth a little bit to sprinkle on Debo Samuel as the MVP of Super Bowl 58. Now, when it comes to the spread and the total, you guys obviously know where I'm already going here. I'm going with the 49ers to win the game. And that means I'll take the Niners minus one and a half or two I expect it to be about one, one and a half once it gets to kickoff. And if you want to bet the Niners, honestly, I'd probably just wait till Sunday because I think more money is going to come in on the Chiefs when it comes to the public. And I broke down in depth why the Niners are my side. And I've been a Niners backer all season. I've believed in them more than most for many years. I've been a Kyle Shanahan guy forever. And you guys know this if you watch this channel. If you're new for whatever reason... Allow me to explain a couple of points why I believe the Niners will win this game. First of all, I think that they will run the ball effectively and possess the ball effectively against the Chiefs, keeping Mahomes on the sidelines. I think that Christian McCaffrey will have a big game, as I've already previously stated. I think that they'll be able to dictate the situations on second and third down through early down success running the football, and then by utilizing play action, where the Chiefs have also not been very good against play action, which is a Shanahan staple. 
On top of that, I don't think the Chiefs, as good as their defense is, has seen an offense this good or this explosive. And the Niners are a much more explosive team than the Chiefs. We actually saw this in Super Bowl 54. The Niners were the much better team for three and a half quarters in that game. But the Chiefs were the more explosive team. And that's why they won. They scored multiple touchdowns within the last seven minutes of the game. The Niners can win this game in a multitude of ways. They could win it by running the ball. They could win it by throwing the ball. They can win it through defense. They can win it through a comeback. Or they could win it with a lead. The best way to win it would be by running it early, establishing the ground game, getting a lead, then working off of play action, creating explosives through the play action game, and that seems to be the Kyle Shanahan and 49er formula for as long as we can remember. And then rushing the quarterback, getting to Mahomes, causing pressure, maybe a turnover or two, and winning the game. And that could actually result in a blowout. But the Niners have also shown in previous outings this postseason that they can come back and win, that they can fall behind, and they're so explosive that they can, just like that, snap their fingers and come from behind and win. And what the Chiefs have also shown is is really an inability to finish teams, an inability to run away in games, an inability to blow out teams this year. They have been able to get leads, but then against the Ravens, right, they were up 17-7 to at half. It basically finished that way, and the Ravens were not able to fully come back. They had a chance. The ball was punched out from Zay Flowers, the one-yard line, and it saved the day for Kansas City. But they did not score on their final eight drives, right? The Chiefs have shown a capacity all year for having really good starts to games on offense, but not being able to have good second halves. Now, the Chiefs' defense has been really good in the second half. That is a fact, but they have not seen the best offense in the NFL, an offense that is very similar to an offense that they struggled most against, the Green Bay Packers under Matt LaFleur. So I view the Niners as a team that can win in more ways than the Chiefs. I think they have an edge in the run game. I think they will have an edge in time of possession. I think they have the better pass rush by simply rushing four against a weaker offensive line that is missing an all-pro left guard and has two weaknesses at tackle. I think they have less weapons The Niners have better weapons. Debo, McCaffrey, Kittle, or Ayuk can all take over a game and Christian McCaffrey run in the football. I believe in Brock Purdy in big moments. So far, so good. And while they do have the better quarterback, Patrick Mahomes is a better quarterback, I personally believe this Niners team has been better all year, which they have, and I believe that they'll be better on Sunday. So I'm going to take the Niners if you want to even deeper look at the game. I've made multiple videos and multiple previews about the game. You can go check that out on the channel. But I'm running with the Niners, with McCaffrey, with Kyle, with Purdy, minus one and a half for Super Bowl Sunday. In terms of the total, this was the toughest pick for me. I personally don't have a strong opinion on either side because I could see it going over, especially if the Chiefs get an early lead. I could see the Niners viciously coming back and pushing the pace of this game to go over. I could see that. I think if the Niners get a lead, I think it's more likely to go under because I think the Niners will play a little bit more conservative down the stretch of this game. And the Chiefs, I just think, may struggle in a comeback setting because this Chiefs team is not like the other Chiefs teams from years past. They're not as explosive. They're more, you know, kind of like take their time down the field, dink and dunk down the field, run the football. So it's a diff- it's a different and difficult game script for them to really pursue. So personally, I lean towards an under because I think both teams will have the most success offensively by running the ball, which is going to milk the clock and shorten the game. I also think that the defense of the Niners will rise to the occasion against the Chiefs. And I feel like the Chiefs defense is very solid and will limit the explosive passing plays of Purdy and the Niner offense, but they might get beat on the ground. So I lean under something about like around the spread. Like it's 47 and a half. It's a tricky number. I could see 24-21. I could see 24-20. I could see 27-20 just under, but I could also see 27-24, 27-23, you know, some, something like that. So it's really tricky. I wouldn't necessarily put the most money on this, but 
I lean under because of the ways that I see the offense is attacking, which is through the running game and the short passing game. So those are my best bets for Super Bowl 58, Niners, Chiefs. Let me know yours in the comment section below. It's Mitch. Thank you so much for this season. Crack spike, Kittle spike, Kelsey spike, the like button. And I can't wait for the big game, man. Hit up Patreon for all of my Super Bowl bets. We'll be back for the next video. It's Mitch. Peace.